Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Pounded says Arsenal need to get rid of one player before doing anything else this summer. Clark spoke about what Arsenal should do this summer, claiming that selling Eden Katea should be the Gunners' first port of call. He said the following, Yeah, I'd be reluctant to sell Jesus, but if you are losing Eden Katea and I don't think there is any argument that is the first transfer, they probably should look to make in the summer. Jesus is a very good impact player. He comes off the bench to change things. He can play on the left or the right. I love the chaos he brings. Arsenal don't need to be in a huge rush to get rid of Nketaya. He is not causing huge problems. However, the sooner he is sold, the better. Much like every other club in the Premier League, Arsenal have one eye on the profit and sustainability rules heading into this summer. Selling Nketaya for a decent fee will make life much easier, as he is an academy product who can be registered as a pure profit on the books. We really like Nketiah as a player and we are sure he will have plenty of suitors, but for Arsenal, at this moment in time, he is not the answer. If Arsenal can sell Nketiah early, then this should be an exciting summer of spending and improving the squad. 27-year-old's Arsenal future could be in doubt with the club set to listen to offers this summer. Arsenal will reportedly listen to offers for Gabriel Jesus this summer with the club looking to cash in on the Brazilian. Jesus is currently in his second season at the Emirates, having joined from Manchester City for £45 million in the summer of 2022. The Brazil internationals campaign has been disrupted by injury and he has made 33 appearances in all competitions, scoring just 8 goals. Jesus still has 3 years left on his current deal, but according to The Athletic, the Brazilian's future is not certain and Mikel Arte aside could listen to offers for the forward in the summer. The form of Kai Havertz is another problem for the 27-year-old as the German has come in and shown he can score goals and be useful for Arsenal in the centre forward role. As a result, the Gunners are now less reliant on Jesus and have reportedly been looking into the possibility of signing another striker this summer. The former City man has scored 19 goals in 66 appearances for the North London club, but has only managed four Premier League goals this season. It remains to be seen if the Gunners will sign another striker or not, but Jesus will need to stay fit and up his game if his long-term future is to lie at the Emirates. £50 million Arsenal player has been playing through an injury this season. Speaking on the Ranks FC podcast, Dean Jones has been picking his team of the year for the Premier League, and rightfully so, he chose Ben White at right back. Jones selected the Arsenal fullback for his consistency, while he also shared a bit of information about the England international, claiming that he's been carrying an injury for a lot of the season. Jones spoke about White's performances and the fact he has been playing through pain. He said, so consistent Ben White, so consistent in that position, and so unfazed by the fact he's had to play there all of the time, also has been carrying an injury for a lot of the season, but that doesn't seem to have thrown him off his stride, he's always made himself available. Usually, when you hear a player is playing through injuries, it's after a poor run of form. Marcus Rashford's shoulder problems were well publicized when he had a dip in form, as were Son's hernia issues last season. However, White has been carrying this injury while having the best season of his career. White has been incredible this season, and the fact that has been able to play at this sort of levels while carrying this injury problems is almost most superhuman. The scary thing is that once White is back full fit and healthy, he might even be able to step up another level and improve once again. The £50 million defender has been one of the best players in the Premier League this season, and to play this well while carrying an injury is almost mind-blowing. 
Pounded says he's noticed 45 million pound Arsenal player is really slowing down. Speaking on the Premier League All Access podcast, Adrian Clark has been discussing Partey's return to the Arsenal team and he's noted how the £45 million man is looking slower these days. Clark spoke about Partey and how he seems to be losing his pace. He said, he is a big mess because if you have a fit and firing Thomas Partey, he is one of the best players in his position in his division. He has this presence. He is a brilliant progressive passer. He's not as quick as he used to be and that's a slight issue moving forward, but he is quicker than Georgine Hostel. It's not at all surprising that Partey has lost his pace in recent months. The midfielder is now the wrong side of 30 and he's spent much of this season on the sidelines with an injury. Injuries are going to lead to a loss of pace no matter who you are, while aging is a process that every footballer has to get to grips with at some point. Luckily, Partey isn't a player who wholly relies on his speed and he can still be an important player for Arsenal without that extra layer of explosiveness. The Ghana international isn't that old and who knows, perhaps once he fully shakes off the rust of his injury, he could regain a bit of speed. Partey is slower, but his legs haven't quite gone yet. Reporter says he thinks £26 million player has agreed to join Arsenal. According to Turkish football reporter Devrim Zanji, Ferdi Kadioglu has agreed to join Arsenal. The respected media presence in Turkey actually spoke to the Venerbahce No. 7's father about rumours linking his son with a move to the Emirates Stadium. Previously, a story from Turkish journalist Sabin Koglu claimed that Arsenal are planning to submit a £26 million bid for Kadioglu, a player who has been compared to Joao Cancelo. The Turkey international's father did not directly tell Zanji that an agreement had been reached with Arsenal. However, the reporter came away from the conversation with Kadioglu's dad under the impression that the 24-year-old has decided to join the Gunners. Zanji told Turkish news outlet Karar the following, Ferdi Kadioglu is meeting with Arsenal. Ferdi shook hands. His father did not say yes, he is going to Arsenal. We made an agreement with Arsenal, but from the questions I asked and the answers I received, I understood that Kadioglu agreed with the Premier League giant Arsenal. Make of that what you will, although it certainly sounds interesting. So far this season, Arteta has used Takahiro Tomiyasu, Zinchenko and Jakub Kivior on the left of defence, with all three failing to nail down the position due to a combination of injuries or poor displays. Therefore, the Spaniard could be pursuing Kadioglu to go straight into the starting eleven. The torque has shown for Venerbahce in an inverted left-back role so far this season, scoring three goals and providing five assists in 47 appearances. To provide an idea of Kadioglu's playing style, he has been compared to Cancelo as aforesaid by breaking the lines. Kenan Kochak, assistant manager of the Turkey national team, has told the aforementioned Karar, if you can get him, get him, he will do a great job. In that respect, Arteta and Edu Gaspar may be into something special here. Juventus now think their £51 million striker target could snap them and then join Arsenal instead. Joshua Zirgzi has been on Arsenal's radar for a few months now. The Dutch international, formerly of Bayern Munich, has had a really impressive season at Serie A side Bologna. Zirgzi has scored 12 goals and provided 7 assists in all competitions this season and he is expected to be a wanted man once the summer transfer window opens. Give me sporty claim this week that AC Milan and Juventus are both interested in signing Zirgzi from Bologna in the upcoming window. However, the two Italian clubs are now worried about one thing, Arsenal. The report claims that Zirgzi's suitors in the Serie A have started to explore other options due to fears that the Bologna star would prefer to seal a summer move to the Emirates Stadium instead.
It has further been revealed that Arsenal have not been put off by Bologna's demands to sell their star striker. The Italian side wants a fee in the region of £51 million this summer. TBR Football exclusively revealed recently that Arsenal are interested in Joshua Zergzi. The Gunners have watched him play on multiple occasions this season and they have been impressed with what he has done at Bologna. However, Zergzi isn't the only one on Arsenal's radar. TBR Football understands that the likes of Dusan Vlahovic, Benjamin Sesko, Openda and Alexander Isaac are all being monitored by the Gunners ahead of the summer transfer window. It will be interesting to see who Mikel Arteta will go after. If he wants our advice, we think he should go all out on Isaac. Concrete chance of rumored Arsenal and Man United target moving this summer, says a transfer expert. Transfer news journalist Fabrizio Romano says there is a concrete chance of Crystal Palace defender Mark Guehi leaving the club this summer amid links with the likes of Arsenal and Manchester United. Speaking exclusively to Cout of Sight for the latest edition of his daily briefing column, Romano made it clear that Guehi was someone who could be worth keeping an eye on in the summer, with interest there from several clubs, even if he didn't out and out confirm that Arsenal and Man United were indeed among his main admirers. He said, Some fans have asked me again about Mark Guehi, who was in superb form for Crystal Palace before his injury. The latest reports involve interest from Arsenal and Manchester United, but I can't confirm these links yet. Still, Guehi has concrete chances to leave Crystal Palace this summer. I can't confirm clubs yet, as it's still really early. The interest is there from several clubs, but it's nothing really concrete yet. Guehi has impressed in his time at Selhurst Park, so it's not too surprising to see that he could soon earn himself a big move and it will be interesting to see where he ends up. In a way, however, the links with Arsenal are surprising as the Gunners already have such a world-class defence with plenty of quality and depth in that area of their squad. Not only does Mikel Arteta boast the partnership of Gabriel Magalis and William Saliba, but the likes of Ben White, Jakub Kivior and Takahiro Tomiyasu are all also very capable backup options in that position. Arsenal among frontrunners for one of the most talented young players in Europe. A report has emerged suggesting Arsenal are among the frontrunners for a 22-year-old midfielder who is one of the most talented young players in Europe. The player in question is Amado Onana, who has gone from strength to strength since joining Everton in 2022. Football Transfers has reported that Arsenal, alongside Bayern Munich and Newcastle United, lead the race for the Toffees star. Everton's situation around the Premier League's profit and sustainability regulations means that they are likely to cash in on one or more of their assets this summer. Onana, who reportedly has a £50 million price tag, would be a superb acquisition for Arsenal and certainly seems worth the fee. He has already proven himself in the Premier League and for a struggling side too. His talent, speed and physicality make him a feared opponent. Roberto Martinez is quoted by the Daily Mail as saying in 2022, he is a strong personality, he never hides, he asks for the ball and he dares, he is one of the most talented young players in Europe. Let's see what happens in the coming months. Arsenal will certainly fancy their chances of landing Onana, even if competition for his services will be fierce. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.